Have you ever thought about pursuing an MBA, but are unsure about what you'll be learning? Perhaps fear is holding you back, or perhaps you're just curious about the secrets behind those three coveted letters, M, B, A. You might have been grappling with the questions, why would I potentially need an MBA? Why do people disrupt their lives to go and pursue this degree? And you know what? Is it really worth it? Well, today I've got you covered because seven years ago, I was in your shoes, Googling everything I could find about an MBA and what I might potentially getting myself into. So today I'll be sharing my answers that I found with you when I pursued my MBA. Whether you are an aspiring entrepreneur, an enthusiast, or just a curious mind, I will walk you through the eight reasons why I think in today's day and time, I still think an MBA is totally worth it. Well, let's start with number one. It is a transformative experience. It won't teach you everything about business. Make no mistake. But it will give you the tools to help yourself. Remember, you will never grow in your comfort zone. That is not where growth happens. You need to be outside of your comfort to actually start growing personally. Not even professionally, just in a personal sense. And this is exactly what an MBA does. It puts you out of your comfort zone. It challenges your way of thinking. It challenges the way you problem solve. It challenges the way you see yourself, how much you believe in your own abilities, how you view others, how you view yourself, and it changes your perception about things beyond the business world because it is a degree that is focused on building leaders. Yes, it is a degree that is focused on people who are more generalist, and I'm getting to that later in this video but it is a degree that is meant to develop well-rounded leaders. Number two, it can catapult your career to new heights. If your career needs a boost, this might just be what you need. I found this Harvard article, and I will drop it in the description below, about why an MBA is still worth it today. Obviously, they want you to sign up for the program, so they are going to tell you that it is still worth it. But I resonate with their reasoning, and they mentioned three main reasons why people still pursue an MBA today. Number one, as a means of boosting their career. Either making a change like I did, I was a nurse before, keep an eye out on my upcoming video to share with you how that came about, or just moving up in your career. Number two, it increases the earning potential. That is something that everybody already knows. And the last one is building connections. Whether it is for personal or business purposes, an MBA is a great opportunity to build your network beyond your local context, but on an international reach. Number three, why I think an MBA is still worth it. It is a program that is aimed at developing well-rounded leaders. This has been the best and fastest crash course in leadership that I have ever had without having any experience beforehand. It is a lot of theory, yes, but it has set me on a path of wanting to develop into the leader that I wish I had in my own career. In my entire career, I've only ever had one person that I would describe as a true leader. Not just a manager telling me what to do and delegating all of his tasks, but a true leader that inspired me. I think leadership is a continuous journey of improving yourself to be more inspirational and more motivational to others. And you know, if every business school has to produce 100 MBAs in order to have three truly good leaders out of that cohort for the year, I'd say it's absolutely worth it. The world can do with better and more empathetic, truly inspirational leaders that actually care about the people who are following them. And this could be you. If you also have this desire that you want to make an impact on the people around you and you feel that there's this purpose that you have, maybe this is the way to reach it. Number four, an MBA is meant for generalists. Yes, you get people that are super specialized in what they are doing, but an MBA is aimed at someone who is an operational level in every part of the business. It is not aimed at someone with an expertise in only one area, even though many of the people in an MBA comes from areas where they have expertise. The reason they do the MBA is because they want to have more experience or more expertise in other areas of the business, not just one. 
So if you are naturally a generalist and you always have a finger in a pie everywhere and you feel like you're kind of good at everything that you do, you're not necessarily an expert, but you kind of like grasp the general thing, this is something that will really pay off in an MBA. I mean, I didn't have to study marketing. I didn't have to have a degree in accounting. I didn't have to have a separate degree in statistics. This is all in one combined, well-structured and very dense package that gives you the ability to get familiar with all aspects of the business, but in one single degree, instead of wasting time or hours on trying to hunt down all of these different aspects and putting it together yourself. It's being done for you. Number five, it is a great starting point for people who are lifelong learners. What is a lifelong learner? For me, that means that I am never reaching a point where I feel that I have now enough knowledge, I don't need to grow or learn anything else. Now that is probably a thing that many people feel, but I do see myself as a lifelong learner because I am always busy trying to learn new skills. Whether it is reading a book about personal growth and development, or whether it is some technical skill that I'm learning on a Udemy course, um, perhaps trying to understand how Figma works, trying to upskill myself in other software programs that we might be working with, but I am always curious about learning more. If you have that attitude, then an MBA is a perfect starting point because you will learn so much. Sometimes too much to actually take in, but you can always process it once you are done with a degree and you start applying some of the tools and some of the insights and the way of thinking in your everyday life and in your business. Number six, it has great earning potential. I don't think I need to explain much more about it, but it truly does have great earning potential. There is a reason why there is such a prestige connected to having an MBA degree and it's not just because people with a piece of paper will have naturally more money, it is because of the abilities that they bring to a company that exponentially increases their salary. So bear in mind it is not a given, that's why I say earning potential, it is not a given that you will get more money. But if you are willing to put in the work and you are willing to acquire these new skills and apply them the way you are being taught, then the potential is endless. And the outcomes five years later, that is all in your control. That is not up to the degree or the school where you studied. What the outcomes are of an MBA and how you apply it afterwards, that is completely up to you. Number seven, it boosts your confidence. It absolutely boosts your confidence. And I'm not talking about being arrogant. I know people often make a joke, how do you know someone has an MBA? They tell you. Yes, you have your people, you will find them everywhere. Arrogance is everywhere in the world. And some people really become arrogant because of either their achievements in life or their qualifications or just the money they have. But the way it boosts my confidence is realizing the ability I have to do so much more. I was in nursing, I felt really stuck and I felt that I didn't really know where to go with my career, with my life and every time I envisioned 10 years from, from now, it, it felt like a dark hole. I had no picture, not even in my imagination could I fathom what will life look like because I didn't know what I was capable of and being pushed so out of your comfort zone to suddenly start doing accounting and I didn't have accounting in school. At the time, I wanted to be an architect. So I figured it would be a better idea to opt for technical drawings as a subject instead of accounting. A little bit of regret a couple of years later because it would really have helped me. But I was out of my comfort zone, I put in the effort, I put in the time and I got on top of it. In every single subject we had, I had to reorientate myself and put myself out of my comfort zone and understand what am I dealing with here. After mastering that skill, passing the exam or getting your assignment back and passing the exam and getting the degree at the end, that for me is not an achievement of how good I was or how smart I was. I did not feel smart for the entire duration of that year. I felt incredibly average, even dumb sometimes. So no, it did not make me feel smarter. It made me feel able and capable of changing the world because now I knew if I apply my mind and I put in the dedication and the time, I can do it. If you asked me before I did an MBA, as a nurse, do you think you can pass this MBA? I told everyone, 
I pray to God that I will pass this thing because I don't think I can. I didn't have that self-belief. Having done that, after quitting my job and pursuing the MBA full-time for a whole year, passing it, understanding what was going on, passing it well, that confidence boost was all I needed to kickstart my career, blow some new energy into it, and actually unlock the potential that I always knew deep down I had. I just did not know how to unlock it. And that is a perfect segue into number eight, which is an MBA is an enabler. It is not the destination. And I remember them telling us in the very first class, remember, having an MBA is not the destination. It's merely the beginning. And I thought to myself, what on earth do you mean here? Now I can say I understand. It is the beginning of a new journey. It is an enabler because it opens doors that you would not normally have had open. Because of what you learned during MBA, you are unlocking opportunities because of tools or ways of thinking or strategies that you now are capable of executing. It unlocks opportunities for you to pursue that you would not have either identified before or knew how to actually maximize before. For instance, before my MBA, I have never worked on Excel. I think I opened it once or twice in my life. I knew you could type in, I knew it was a table format, and I think I could do a sum function. That was it. Fast forward seven years later, and I'm actually pretty decent at Excel. I had a lot of experience. I learned a hell of a lot of Excel in that one year. By the way, if you are also new to Excel, I'm going to be making a video soon about my top 10 favorite Excel formulas that is changing my life every day and that could actually make it a lot easier for you to just get started. So yes, for me, I'd say an MBA is absolutely worth it still today. Also, keep an eye out for my video next week where I will run you through the most important factors to keep in mind if you consider doing an MBA and that might perhaps help you make the final decision. So if you are still a little bit on the fence, check out my upcoming video about the basics of an MBA program and what the typical curriculum is like to know what exactly you can expect from it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.